motherfucking shit. Goddamn piece of crap that I can't do this goddamn thing. You know, like that. My girlfriend is into photography. And for the longest time, she actually wasn't taking any photographs. Uh, she'd raise her camera at something that she wanted to take a picture of, and then she'd look at it through the viewfinder and hesitate, and ultimately she wouldn't take any pictures. And this is something that is very, very common, you see, because she wanted to take the perfect picture. Now, when I was starting out as a young writer, I wanted to write the perfect novel. And so I, when I was a teenager, I wrote and wrote, you know, the beginning paragraph of this perfect novel, and it wouldn't be a perfect paragraph, of course. And so I'd abandon that attempt, and then after a few weeks, I'd try again. And all I had was, you know, you know, half a dozen half pages of false starts over a six month period. I didn't write anything, right? It's very normal to be paralyzed by the desire for perfection. The desire for perfection, the ideal that we see in our heads, is something that we aspire to. And we think that reaching perfection is sort of like, you know, if you, if you get into the right groove, you'll reach perfection. And if you start and you're not, and you feel that you're not in that perfect groove, then it's not going to happen. So you might as well like abandon the attempt, right? That is pretty much how most people feel about a lot of different things that they want to accomplish. And that's why very few people actually go ahead and write the perfect novel, take the perfect photograph. Because you see, reaching perfection is not conditioned on you finding that perfect groove that will take you to paradise. Reaching perfection is an issue of consistency, of constancy of repetition, of trying over and over and over again, and constantly failing along the path to success. Done is always better than perfect. Now on these videos, for instance, I have more than once done, <laughs> I've more than once had a false start. More than once have I redone a video. I've done, uh, you know, some videos I've done two, sometimes three times, one time, I did one video five times and you know, it, it, all five times were failures. And I was like, mother fucking shit, goddamn piece of crap that I can't do this goddamn thing. You know, like that, right? And it's, frustration is enormous when you have an ideal and you don't reach it. And the temptation is to abandon the attempt. The temptation is always to say, you know something, fuck this thing. I am never going to get it right. I am never going to get it perfect. So I'm not going to do it. You see that that's the bad choice. That's where you make your mistake because the choice isn't, I am never going to reach perfection. So I am going to abandon the attempt. No, no, no. The choice is I am never going to reach perfection. So I will continue anyway. I will try to do it anyway because done is better than perfect. Done is achievable. Perfection never is. Perfection, after all, is usually something that you realize after the fact. I've done so far like something like 77 videos and uh, every single video I've ever done, I finished it and said that was a piece of shit. You know, how many unsubscribes am I going to get now? And I'm always amazed that people are like, oh, that's pretty good. Are these people high? You know, it's a piece of shit. And then, you know, a week or two later, I look at it and I'm like, that was pretty good. And there are a few that I look back and I'm like, how the hell did I produce something so perfect? Like a little perfect little raindrop of perfection. You know, how did that happen? Because you see, when you're doing something, you never realize if it's any good or not. You think it's shit. You always think it's shit. And so, that feeling that you're not accomplishing something, that you're just wasting your fucking time, it makes you abandon not just a valiant effort, but also often as not the successful effort. You're so concerned with reaching perfection that you ignore the good qualities that you have and the thing that you're doing at that moment. You see? 
like my girlfriend, for instance, she finally realized that she didn't have to take the perfect picture. She just had to have the almost perfect setup. Just find something good and just take a burst of photographs, you know, five, 10 pictures of the same thing. And there'll be subtle variations. And among those, maybe she'll capture perfection because perfection is like, it's like a butterfly. It's floating out in the world. And if you try to grab it with your hand, you're gonna fail, see? So what you need to do is like throw up a net. The bigger the net, the more attempts. The, the bigger the net, the more likely you are to capture perfection. So sometimes you do one, two, three, four attempts at something and you don't capture perfection, but you have to just keep on going. A lot of times, for instance, you're doing something, some task, and you look at it and you're like, oh, there's a little flaw here and a little flaw there. Don't stop. Just keep on going. You know, of course, there are always going to be flaws. Lots of times, flaws that only you can see. Flaws that are completely invisible to everyone else. You just have to get past that. It's very, very hard. But see, it's very important. It sounds so trivial, what I'm telling you, but it is essential because what happens is, see, the difference between men who accomplish things, great things, and men who are also rans, who always say, oh, if only I'd had this or this opportunity, if only I'd been able to start that perfect book in like a perfect way that I could have done, you know, maybe, 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 you know, losers. This is the only difference between people who are successful and losers. The only difference. Because the people who are successful recognize that done is better than perfect.